Uh, I made a living off Google High School when I was coaching up at Utah. So I had, one time I took seven players out of there at one time, but uh, got to have a lot of great players out of Kuku High School. And they used to always come to my summer camps. So they'd always bring around 100 kids to my summer camps up here at, at the university. And uh, so I have connection going probably back 20 years or more, yeah. Now, what are you looking forward to, uh, you know, as far as this game's concerned? Uh, you mean two powerhouses, uh, one of them, Kahuku, back-to-back -back state champions, yeah. and uh, East, you know, a very, you know, they've got multiple, you know, D1 guys right now this year. Well, East is a very good football team. East, is, I think East probably the best team in, in the state because they beat Alta last week, who has a very good team. So, and this is a pretty young Kahuku team compared to other teams they've had. So it'll be interesting to see how they hold up against East, East kids because East kids are, are you know, they're used, to, they're used to winning. They got a lot of got a lot of tradition over here now. Uh, so it'll be it'll be a difficult task for these kids. Who are you leaning towards? Or are you even well, taking sides? Uh, well, I gotta stay I gotta stay neutral as much as I can. But a lot of the a lot of the coaches over here I know, you know, from Kook because I've I dealt with them for for years, you know. They, and so uh, DJ and uh, Cavallo and and uh, Garth, the line coach, all those guys I've known for a long time. And then of course Maddox I've known since he was probably 15 years old, 14 years old. So you know, so I got uh, I can't be uh, I can't be biased anywhere. I just stay stay neutral. What are the keys to victory for either side? Well. East is just a better in, in, in stunning their power on these guys. And these guys like to run the football. They always have. So if they can take the run game away from, from, uh, from these guys and force them to throw, I think they'd be in good shape.